Well, we're going to have a little bigger action. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I got eleven boats out on this course. Sea Stock Hydro. That's a motor run by, made by Yamato. This motor is the most popular motor in the world. It's ran in this close. In this uh, class, Seasock Hydro, it's running the what's called the OSY. It stands for Outboard Stock Yamato. That's the UIM name for it. They take these motors, they put them on the exact same boat with the exact same propeller, and they run them in arenas in the Tokyo area. There's about 23 arenas in the Tokyo area, just like we do at the horse races. You go there, you bet. For win play show exactus the exact same way I've been there uh, you go up to the little window and you hand the little girl some uh, so many odd yen and you filled out this little card like you did with your Iowa test you kind of fill in the black dot with your pencil and they she, they hand you a little card back and if you win you take that card and go to an ATM right there at the place and it gives you back money I didn't. I didn't. I always just bet on the guy in lane three because those guys, because they run on a, a one buoy, what we'd call a one buoy turn with kind of a step runabout. And so the guy in lane one, he always goes out to lane five. And so I always bet on lane three and lane two. And it costs a few yen to get in the cheap seats or a lot of yen to get up in the expensive and they use a clock start just like we use. You'll see the white flag now out as these guys are milling around. Kyle Ball out there. Tanner Cole, J. Michael Kelly, you might have heard his name. Kyle Lewis, Ron Magnuson, Jared Martin, Scott Moen, Aaron Peterson, David Salmon, Bob Wardinger, and Victoria Wheeler. All lining it up. J. Michael Kelly, he's kind of a lane one guy. I know Kyle Lewis is a lane one guy. Kyle Ball, he likes to get lane one, not always the place he gets. So watch out there. Bob Wardinger, he's going to be in lane four or five. I've watched him over a number of years. His, his race course, these record race courses, he's a four or five lane guy. Look at that. They're all lined up. You can just about put a string across their bow. As they come up for the start, they know they got to push it. They're pushing it. And who got that first corner? Who got that first lane in this big turn two? I'm going to say that's probably J. Michael Kelly. And then somebody in a white boat out behind him. Can't see the number from here, so we'll just call it that way. So the guy in first is first, the guy in second is second, and the guy in third is third as he's trying to work his way up to second. Uh, we got a Magnuson, that's that green boat. I can see that one. He's moving up on the inside. He's now moved into what could be fourth or fifth. I'm going to need to announce the flag because I don't have a clock or anything out here. So the battle seems to be four, five, six. <laughs> Haven't got any word from the the barge if that was a legal start because I know those guys push it all the time. So our boat is still out in front, and second and third seem to be have their spots. Mr. Magnuson, to me, looks to be in that fourth position. Again, they'll go three laps, three laps for a three-mile course. Up next, D-Stock Hydro. We, we're kind of bumping the speed. We, oh, we got a boat over. A boat over at the exit pin, just about the exit pin of turn two, turn one. He's on the inside of the course from this angle. Something in outboards, 
If they aren't in a bad position, we will keep on racing. If they're in a, a very bad position, if he was further out into that corner, yeah, we'd probably stop that. But it looks like he tried to flip on the inside of the race course, so he's, he's in his happy place. Our one, two, threes are have stayed the same. With Ron Magnuson in fourth. That bright green boat of his, I can tell it's Ron's. With one more, just starting its third lap. All our rescue boats poised and ready at that driver. Our driver is, when they go out of the boat, if they happen to go out of the boat, we look for that signal of their hands up over their heads, and we like to see them hold that for about five seconds or so after they've checked themselves out, make sure they wiggled all their toes, fingers, and nose to make sure everything is still working. If something's wrong, just lay on your back and we'll come get you. D-Stock Hydro, you're up next. After D-Stock Hydro will be the second heat of J-Hydro and then the first heat of 750 Mod Hydro. That's where it's gonna get a little quicker and a little noisier. So far, we, so far we've kept the noise down. We had one gun jumper, the 517. And on my list, Jared Martin, Jared Martin, too quick on the trigger, squeezing the aluminum out of that throttle. So 517, Jared, you were just a little, a little early with that. 